Dear listeners, tonight I will take you on a journey through the mist-laden hills and ancient forests of Ireland, where a legend both haunting and hopeful comes to life. The tale of Connell, the humble hero who faced the headless rider, the Dullahan. So have you settled in, close your eyes, and let yourselves be enveloped by the magic and mystery of this enchanting story. The Legend of the Headless Horseman Enchanting Irish Mythology and Folk Tales In the ancient mist-laden landscapes of Ireland, where the rolling hills kissed the sky, and the verdant fields whispered secrets of old, stories of the Dullahan, the headless rider, pervaded the minds and hearts of the villagers. This spectral figure, draped in shadows and mystery, haunted the hearts of villagers with a potent mix of fear and fascination. The Dullahan, it was said, was a harbinger of death, his midnight rides a prelude to the end of mortal lives. Yet the true tale of this enigmatic rider was much more profound, woven with threads of intrigue, tragedy, and transformation. On a particularly dark and stormy night, the village lay in uneasy silence, the kind that seemed to wrap around the soul like a cold, damp shroud. The winds howled through the narrow lanes, carrying with them the scent of rain and the whispers of ancient spirits. It was on such a night that the residents were abruptly unsettled by a chilling sound, the hauntingly eerie gallop of a black horse, its hooves striking the cobblestones with an unnerving rhythm. The sound echoed through the village, bouncing off the stone walls of cottages and sending shivers down the spines of all who heard it. At the edge of this small Irish village, where the last flickers of lamplight surrendered to the encroaching darkness of the surrounding woods, lived Connell. A young man of uncommon bravery, Connell had recently been cast into the depths of sorrow, following the mysterious death of his beloved sister. Her passing was shrouded in unanswered questions and inexplicable phenomena, leaving Connell with a heart heavy with grief and a mind swirling with suspicion. His sister's demise had left a void in his life, one filled with a burning determination to uncover the truth. Connell was captivated to the whispers of the elders, stories that were passed down through the years like a delicate treasure, and he was determined to learn the truth behind the mystery of the Dullahan. These stories described the Dullahan as more than just a death sign. They described him as a character entwined with the village's destiny. Connell was led to feel that there was something much more evil at work than the mere folklore of a headless rider by his heart, which was an odd mixture of anguish and resolution. As Connell lay awake in his modest cottage, the rain pounded against the thatched roof, each drop a reminder of the night's ominous promise. He could feel the weight of the legend pressing down on him, an almost palpable presence in the room. His thoughts were consumed by the image of the Dullahan, a figure shrouded in darkness, galloping through the mist with a chilling purpose. Connell knew he had to act, to confront the terror that had taken his sister and now threatened his village. The night outside was a tempest, the kind that seemed to blur the lines between the real and the otherworldly. Lightning flashed, illuminating the ancient trees that bordered the village, 
their gnarled branches looking like skeletal fingers reaching out to snatch unwary souls. Thunder rolled across the sky, a deep rumbling growl that seemed to emanate from the very bowels of the earth. In the midst of this chaos the galloping continued, a relentless cadence that drove fear into the hearts of the villagers. Connell rose from his bed, his resolve hardening with each beat of his heart. He was determined to face whatever awaited him in the darkness, to challenge the malevolent force that had claimed his sister. As he stepped outside, the wind lashed at his face, the rain soaking through his clothes in an instant. But Connell was undeterred, driven by a fierce need to uncover the truth and to bring an end to the terror that had gripped his home. He made his way to the edge of the village, where the cobblestones gave way to the muddy trails leading into the dense forest. Here the sounds of the galloping horse were louder, more distinct, as if the Dullahan himself were drawing closer. Connell's heart pounded in his chest, a rhythm that matched the relentless beat of the horse's hooves. Armed with an ancient protect amulet, Connell set out on a quest to find the Dullahan. This rider, whose legend had gripped his village with fear and awe for generations. This amulet, an heirloom passed down through his family, shimmered with a soft, ethereal glow offering a sliver of hope in the face of the unknown. It was said to possess powerful protective qualities, capable of shielding its bearer from the darkest of forces. With this talisman clutched tightly in his hand, Connell embarked on a journey that would lead him through the very heart of Ireland's most haunted landscapes. Guided by local legends and the whispered stories of the village elders, Connell ventured into the dense, ancient forests that surrounded his home. These woods, thick with gnarled trees and twisted roots, were said to be the dwelling place of restless spirits and forgotten souls. The air was thick with an otherworldly mist, swirling around him like the ghosts of the past. Every rustle of leaves and distant howl of wind seemed to carry the echoes of long-lost tales, urging him onward. The light of day started to fade as he moved more into the forest, creating lengthy shadows that glowed unsettlingly in the low light. The way ahead was crooked and tight, as though the natural world was trying to keep outsiders from going any farther into its depths. Connell persisted anyway, his resolve unshakable. He was certain that the solutions he was looking for were out there, some place behind the clouds and mist. The stories of the village elders played over and over in his mind. They spoke of the Dullahan not merely as a harbinger of death, but as a cursed soul, bound by a demonic pact made centuries ago. This revelation had stirred something deep within Connell, a burning need to understand the true nature of the curse that had claimed his sister and threatened his village. He could not shake the feeling that the key to breaking this curse lay in uncovering the hidden truths buried within these ancient tales. As the days turned into nights and the nights into days, Connell traversed desolate hills and lonely moors, each step taking him further from the familiar comforts of his home and deeper into the realm of the supernatural. The landscapes around him seemed to grow more foreboding with each passing hour, the skies darkening with ominous clouds and the winds growing colder, sharper, 
It was during these solitary travels that Connell began to encounter other restless spirits, victims of the same demonic pact that had ensnared the Dullahan. These spirits, bound to the earthly realm by the same dark force, appeared to him in moments of quiet and stillness. Their forms were translucent, shimmering in the half-light of dawn and dusk, their faces etched with sorrow and pain. Each spirit he encountered shared with him fragments of their own tragic stories, pieces of the terrifying tale that had led to the creation of the headless rider. They spoke of a time long ago, when a desperate pact was made with a malevolent entity, a bargain struck in the shadows that had irrevocably altered their fates. These spectral encounters, while haunting, provided Connell with crucial insights into the nature of the curse. One night, as he camped beneath a gnarled old oak tree, a particularly sorrowful spirit appeared before him. Her eyes, hollow and filled with an ancient sadness, locked onto his. She revealed that the curse binding the Dullahan could only be broken by recovering the rider's head, which had been lost to the mists of time, and by speaking his true name, a name that had been erased from history and memory. This revelation struck Connell like a bolt of lightning. He realized that his quest was not merely one of discovery, but of redemption. To free the Dullahan from his eternal torment and to lift the shadow of fear from his village, he would need to delve even deeper into the mysteries of the past. The true name of the Dullahan, a name that had been deliberately obscured, held the key to unraveling the dark spell that bound him. Determined to uncover this name, Connell pressed on, his journey becoming ever more perilous. He ventured into forgotten ruins and abandoned crypts, places where the veil between the living and the dead was thinnest. Each step brought him closer to the heart of the curse, and each encounter with the restless spirits fortified his resolve. He could feel the weight of their hopes and fears resting on his shoulders, driving him to continue despite the growing dangers. As Connell journeyed further, the amulet around his neck glowed brighter, its protective aura a constant reminder of the strength and courage he carried within. He knew that the road ahead would be fraught with challenges, but the knowledge he had gained, and the spirits he had encountered, gave him the fortitude to face whatever lay ahead. And so, armed with the wisdom of the past and the hope of redemption, Connell continued his quest, guided by the whispers of the spirits and the light of his ancient amulet. His journey had only just begun, but he was determined to see it through, to uncover the truth and to break the curse that had plagued his village for centuries. On the night of Samhain, when the veil between worlds is at its most fragile, the air itself seemed to tremble with ancient magic. The moon, full and luminous, cast a silver glow over the land, bathing everything in an ethereal light. It was a night when the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred, and the whispers of spirits could be heard by those who dared to listen. Connell, with his heart pounding in anticipation, knew this was the night he had been preparing for. The path to the old abandoned cemetery was lined with shadows and echoes of the past. Every step Connell took felt laden with the weight of countless souls who had walked the same path before him, 
their stories interwoven with his own. The cemetery itself, forgotten and overgrown, stood as a silent testament to time's relentless march. Crumbling headstones covered in ivy and moss peeked out from the tall grass, their inscriptions long faded but their presence still felt. Connell felt the temperature drop as he got closer to the graveyard. The cold seeped into his bones. Through the trees, the wind whispered, bringing remnants of forgotten dirges and lullabies. He could make out the headless rider Dullahan's weak shape, standing next to a dilapidated tomb in the distance through the shifting mist. The Dullahan's presence was both terrifying and mesmerizing. Clad in dark, tattered garments, he held his severed head under one arm, its eyes glowing with an unnatural light. The horse he rode, a massive midnight black steed, pawed at the ground restlessly, its breath visible in the cold night air. Connell's grip tightened on the protective amulet around his neck, the only source of warmth and courage in that moment. Drawing a deep breath, Connell stepped forward, his voice steady despite the fear coursing through him. Dullahan, he called out, the word hanging in the air like a challenge. The headless rider turned towards him, the glowing eyes of his severed head fixing on Connell with an intensity that felt like it could pierce through his very soul. In that moment, the world seemed to hold its breath. The wind stilled and the night grew unnaturally quiet. Connell could hear the rapid beating of his heart, each thump echoing like a drum in the silence. He reached for the amulet, its warmth spreading through his fingers and lifted it high, its light casting a protective glow around him. With a resolve forged in the fires of his grief and determination, Connell advanced towards the Dullahan. The rider made no move to stop him, almost as if he were waiting for this very moment. As Connell drew closer, he could see the sorrow and pain etched into the features of the severed head, a silent plea for release. Summoning all his courage, Connell raised the amulet and with a swift motion used its power to seize the Dullahan's head. The moment the head was separated from the rider's grasp, a powerful surge of energy erupted from it, a shockwave that sent Connell staggering backwards. He held firm, though, clutching the head tightly. To his astonishment, the head began to speak. Its voice was a low, mournful whisper filled with centuries of suffering. My name, it said, is Aid. The name resonated through the night, a sound that seemed to ripple through the fabric of reality itself. As the name was spoken aloud, the air around them began to shift. The curse that had bound the Dullahan for so long started to unravel. Ayad's body, once a terrifying spectre of death, began to change. The dark, tattered garments transformed into simple, human clothes, and the spectral glow faded from his eyes. Slowly, painfully, Ayad began to regain his human form. Around the cemetery, the restless spirits that had been trapped for so long began to stir. One by one they rose from their eternal slumber, their forms shimmering in the moonlight. As the curse lifted, these spirits found peace, their faces softening from expressions of torment to ones of serene acceptance. They began to ascend, disappearing into the night sky like wisps of smoke, 
leaving behind a profound silence. Connell, his heart still pounding, watched in awe as the transformation unfolded before him. He realized with a deep sense of fulfillment that he had not only brought peace to his sister's spirit, but to many other innocent souls as well. The weight of his journey, the fear and sorrow he had carried lifted from his shoulders, replaced by a sense of profound peace. Thyeth, now fully human, looked at Connell with gratitude. Thank you, he said, his voice filled with emotion. You have freed me from a torment that has lasted for centuries. Connell nodded, unable to find words to express the depth of his feelings. In that silent, abandoned cemetery, under the light of the full moon, he felt a connection to the past, to the spirits, and to the land itself. It was a night of endings and new beginnings, a night where the veil between worlds was lifted and the power of courage and compassion shone through. As the curse lifted, a profound sense of relief swept through the village like a gentle, cleansing breeze. The dark clouds that had loomed overhead for so long began to part, revealing a sky painted with the soft hues of dawn. The first light of morning bathed the village in a warm golden glow, and for the first time in what felt like an eternity, the air was filled with a sense of hope and renewal. The villagers, who had been living in the shadow of fear and uncertainty, now felt an unburdened joy. Their faces, once etched with worry and dread, softened into expressions of relief and gratitude. They gathered in the village square, their murmurs of disbelief slowly turning into cheers of celebration. Connell, the young man who had faced the darkest of terrors, returned to their midst and his presence was met with an outpouring of admiration and respect. Connell became the local hero, his name spoken with reverence by all who knew him. His bravery in the face of unimaginable danger was celebrated, but it was his compassion and determination to bring peace that truly endeared him to the hearts of the villagers. He had not only sought to avenge his sister's death, but had also endeavoured to free the village from the grip of an ancient evil. His actions had been driven by a deep sense of justice and a profound love for his community. The Dullahan, once a fearsome spectre, had been freed from his burden. Thyeth, now restored to his human form, expressed his gratitude to Connol with a quiet dignity. Thank you, he had said his voice filled with a depth of emotion that words could scarcely convey. With his soul liberated from the torment of centuries, I had retreated quietly, choosing to live the remainder of his days in peace and solitude. His departure was marked by a sense of closure, a final chapter in a long and tragic story. The legend of the Dullahan lived on, but it was now told with a new understanding. No longer merely a tale of terror, it became a story of redemption and the triumph of the human spirit. The villagers spoke of the dark curse that had once plagued their home, and of the young man who had faced it with unwavering courage. Through Connell's actions, they learned that even the darkest of curses could be overcome with courage, truth, and love. Local legends sprang from Connell's quiet power and humility. He will always be known as the one who faced death and shone light into the shadows. Generations after generation found inspiration in his story, 
which was shared and retold around fireplaces and firesides. Parents would tell their kids stories of Connell, emphasizing that real bravery was facing fear head-on, rather than living in fearlessness. As the seasons changed and years passed, the village continued to thrive. The shadow that had once hung over it was lifted, replaced by a renewed sense of purpose and community. The villagers took pride in their history, in the trials they had overcome, and in the hero who had led them through the darkest of times. Carnal himself remained a humble presence within the village. Despite the accolades and the admiration, he continued to live simply, always willing to lend a hand to those in need. He found solace in the everyday acts of kindness that bound the community together. Whether it was helping with the harvest, tending to the sick or sharing stories with the children, Connell's presence was a constant source of comfort and strength. In the quiet moments of reflection, Connell would often find himself wandering the paths he had once travelled in his quest to lift the curse. The ancient forests and desolate hills, once filled with foreboding, now seemed to whisper tales of peace and resilience. The amulet, which had been his protector and guide, hung around his neck as a reminder of the journey he had undertaken and the lives he had touched. The cemetery, where the final confrontation had taken place, became a place of quiet reverence. The villagers tended to it with care, honouring the spirits who had found peace there. It stood as a testament to the power of redemption and the enduring legacy of those who had suffered and triumphed. And so the village moved forward, its people united by the bonds of shared history and the lessons learned from Connell's journey. The legend of the Dullahan, transformed by the courage of a humble hero, continued to inspire hope and resilience. Connell's name etched into the hearts of the villagers remained a symbol of light in the darkest of times, a reminder that even the most daunting challenges could be met with strength and love. In the end, it was not just the lifting of the curse that defined Connell's legacy, but the enduring spirit of compassion and bravery that he embodied. His story was a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of the human spirit, to overcome even the most insurmountable of odds. And as long as his tale was told, the village would never forget the hero who had faced the darkness and emerged victorious, bringing light and peace to their lives once more. And so, dear listeners, this concludes our tale of The Legend of the Headless Horseman, we have followed Connell on his brave journey where he faced the fearsome Dullahan and lifted an ancient curse, bringing peace and light back to his village. His courage and compassion shone brightly in the darkest of nights, reminding us that even in the face of great fear, there is always hope. Remember, Behind every legend lies a hero waiting to be discovered, and within every shadow a story yearning to be told. If you enjoyed this evening's tale from the heart of Old Ireland, please like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you never miss another mystical story. What would you do if you were in Connell's place? Would you have the courage to face the unknown and bring peace to restless spirits? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, may your dreams be filled with magical adventures 
and your nights with peaceful slumber.